Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which, in which we partake, partake of Christ, Christ his, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which, which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where we live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech, we beseech you, O Lord. Lord your, your grace into our, our hearts, that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery is the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy Mother, Mother of God, God despise, despise not our, our petitions, petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, death, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you, you entrusted, entrusted our Savior, Savior to, the to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and have our, our being, being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, 
and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Thursday in the seventh week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us who belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Please be seated. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me, Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. These will be her children, and Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples, he writes, These are her children, and while they dance, they will sing. In you all find their home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in their bosom and leading the eels with care. Who has copped in his hand the waters of the sea and mark off the heavens with a span? Who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weigh the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or has instructed him as his counselor? Whom did he consult to gain knowledge? Who taught him the path of judgment, or showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations count as a drop of a bucket, as dust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, 
nor its animals be enough for holocaust. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing and void he accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. The Lord is King, the peoples tremble. He is throned on our cherubim, the earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool, and he the Lord, his holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will, they kept the law, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives, yet you punish all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away, your clothes have become moth eaten, your gold and silver have corroded, and that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure for the last days. Behold, the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasures. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned, you have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. This is the way of those whose trust is folly, the end of those contended with their lot. Like sheep, they are herded into the nether world. Dead is their shepherd, and the upright rule over them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Quickly their form is consumed, the nether world is their palace. But God will redeem me from the power of the netherworld by receiving me. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grows rich, when the wealth of his house becomes great. For when he dies, he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he counted himself blessed, they will praise you for doing well for yourself. 
He shall join the circle of his forebears, who shall never more see light. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Please stand. not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, Amen, I say to you, you will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone will put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt becomes insipid, but what will you restore its flavor? Keep salt in yourselves, and you will have peace with one another. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The Gospel today talks about the power of witnessing. And when we speak about witnessing, we're talking about examples. The power of examples being a good example or a bad influence. We're talking here about the words, the actions, or even our decision-making. Ang pagsasabuhay nang naaayon sa estado ng buhay. Kung ikaw ay may pamilya, then we expect that your words, your actions, or even your decision-making will always conform with your life as a family man. If you are a student, then definitely we are expected that all our actions, our words, will also conform or in accordance with our status as student. Ang pagsasabuhay ng, es, ng naaayon sa estado ng buhay mo. Kung ikaw man ay isang laiko, ikaw ay isang religyoso, yun ang pinag-uusapan ng ating Ibanghelyo. The power of witnessing, the power of our examples to other people. 
And of course, in the context of today's gospel, we're talking here of our examples as Christians. How are we going to influence people by our words, actions, and decision makings to let them follow as well the faith of Jesus? And for and this witnessing, you know, my dear friends, means a lot to Jesus. Means a lot to him. While he was talking to the people, he even mentioned that that man with having that kind of sincere witnessing will definitely leave, will not go without a reward. If you live life with the proper examples in accordance to your status in life, then definitely you become more blessed. You will receive blessings from God. Babalik po at babalik ang kabutihan sa iyo. And if you notice in today's gospel, Jesus said this, whoever, okay? he said, anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink, it's a cup of water. Maliit lang, isang baso lang. You will see from here that Jesus does not expect us to become perfect, to be a perfect example. Hindi niya inaasahan yung pagiging perfecto sa atin. He only mentioned a cup of water to drink. So in other words, even a simple act of generosity, a simple act of generosity of mercy, a simple act of charity suffices. And that would even mean a lot eventually, even how simple it is. The point is that you do it sincerely and you do it with all your heart. Hindi niya kinakailangan na maging perfecto tayo. Of course, we always long for it. Perfection will always be the model in our journey as, as Christians. But don't expect much. What is expected for us is even how simple it is. Simple acts of charity, yet consistent. Lagi, tuloy-tuloy, kahit mahinahon, malit na bagay, as long as it comes from the heart and it, you do it consistently, definitely that would mean a lot to other people also. Even how simple your gesture may be, that that will eventually become an inspiration to other people. On the other hand, in today's gospel, Jesus also mentioned about the other possibility of our manner of living. And that kind of possibility is something that is not so pleasing to Jesus. If the other one I mentioned a while ago, it's about becoming an inspiration to other people, nurturing the faith of people, there could be other ways as well in our own life. The ways of becoming an, instum uh, an stumbling block to other people. Impeding the faith of people. Discouraging or displeasing other people. Annoying other people. Or even stopping other people to become better. And this is something that we have to be mindful of, my dear friends, especially nowadays in our society. The society is presenting us a lot of ideas, a lot of options. But take note, we have to be mindful of our status in life. We are not simply men and women in this world. We are men and women of faith. And we promise to follow Christ. We promise to abide by the principles of Jesus. And something that we have to be mindful of, that will eventually or hopefully or should be the basis in our words, actions, and decision making. Maging maingat po tayo. Maging maingat tayo. Ang daming sinasabi ng lipunan. Dito tayo, masaya, magaan. Dito tayo, lahat, bukas. Dito tayo, love, 
prevails. Dito tayo. Your life, my life, my happiness, my joy. But what about your status in life? Which should be the basis of our words and decision making. Take note, the gospel tells us about Jesus was talking to these people who are intending to follow him. And he was telling him about that. The conviction, the conviction, conviction, motivation to follow Jesus. And that will always be the foundation in all our examples in life. That is why, again, as I have said, for Jesus, becoming a stumbling block to people is a big no-no. Of course, the gospel talks about young people, little children. If we become a bad example to these young people, for Jesus, it's a big no-no that even to the point he said, cut it off. It is better for him to be thrown into hell. Of course, we should never take it literally. When he said, cut it off, it's all about stopping. We should not give up of our sinfulness. We should not give up of our limitations. Again, as I have said, we are not perfect. We tend to commit sin. And yet, we should not give up. Cut it off, my dear friends. Stop the temptation. Stop overcome this stumbling block overcome this bad influence overcome this new or seemingly good and yet deceiving perspective in life overcome them and that is why at the end of the gospel jesus said about the concept of the soul which is a very simple very small concept yet so meaningful and powerful that Jesus reminded us that salt is so important. Salt is a good thing because the salt sustains and we are expected to be the salt, the salt of the other people, the salt of the young ones. And when we talk about being salt, we are expected that our words, actions, and decision making will inspire people, will cultivate the faith of people, will give flavor to our faith, will sustain our decision making, our motivation. And so this is, the, uh, this is a good reminder for all of us. Pandemic is almost over. Malapit na po sa susunod, bakal alert level 1 na. Almost two years in this pandemic, being isolated, being away from our friends, from our loved ones. Kumusta ba ang buhay? And using the concept in today's gospel, are we salt to other people? Are we salt as an inspiration to, to people? Are our examples and words gives, give inspiration? Lead them to nurture our faith? Do we still have the salt? Do we still have the taste of it? My dear friends, sometimes we fail. Sometimes we will lose the taste. Sometimes we lose our character as the soul. But please, don't give up. Overcome them. Go back. Return. And as the gospel said, keep salt in yourselves and you will have peace with one another. We all stand. We pray now to God, our Father, for enlightenment, 
as we present the needs of our broken and divided world before him. And for every petition, we shall say, Father, we hope in you. Father, we hope in you. That God's holy people may be resolute in their struggle against various evils. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you. That people may persevere in their trials and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you that we may not allow our possessions to lead us towards damnation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you that the sick may find strength and consolation from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you for our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all of those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Father, we hope in you for justice, peace, and development of the country and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, we pray. Father, we hope in you for the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa and for our personal intentions. We pray, Father, we hope in you that our beloved dead may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you. Almighty God, the people called to follow your Son confidently bring their supplications before you, asking for courageous faith. We make our prayer to the Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and worth of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and worth of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty we profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, of fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take these all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic, Saint Martin de Porres, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. So stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation 
but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. And for every petition we shall say, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand.
let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In, In the, the tender, tender compassion, compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let, Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of all your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all your rosaries, candles, and the all other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, 